My name is Colleen Glenn. I'm from Bellevue East. I'm a senior. Um, my poem is entitled, My Temple. I live in a temple, kept clean and ordered as needed, for I truly cannot abide a mess. Inside are Romanesque pillars, emitting a sense of strength and security to those behold them. Between our elegant archways and mosaic floors, littered about our stories old and new, and some that just never felt the urge to leave. The furniture scattered about is resting where I last needed them at the time. A type of comfort where you wouldn't mind relaxing for a bit, but you wouldn't wish to linger for too long. On the walls hang tapestries, shades of warm brown, garnet and scarlet, deep forest and harley quinn, royal blue and cobalt. Some walls are still but bare blank stone. Living in and among it all is my companion. It, it lingers in the shadows, behind the tapestries, and underneath the furniture. Before I only caught a glimpse of it here and there, black and shapeless with a sheen like oil. Lately, though, it has become more bold and has taken to curling up in the corners and upon the rafters, just lingering at the edge of my vision if I bothered to spare it a glance. Occasionally, it comes up to me and whispers in my ear before flitting away. I used to feel like chuckling when it did that. I will say this, though. Its tact has definitely improved over the years. Now, I tell you that I do my best to keep a level head on my shoulders about most things, but there are times that I cannot help but hear those whispered suggestions that glide through my ears and fill my brain like smoke, muddling my senses and blurring my vision. It started with exterior design. Simple observations that plainer designs and solid colors would look a little better, that sparkles and bright, shiny things are out of place here. These observations grew sharper and sharper, the smoke getting thicker and thicker, so one day I walked inside and locked the door. A little while later, I noticed it slipping through a crack in one of the walls that I had never noticed before, though it did not look new. But upon finding that I am quite content with how I have decorated the halls of my temple, it has reverted back to what it knows best, exterior design. Insistent knocking on my door has led me to stepping back outside, seeing what it wants so desperately. What it wants is color. See, it says to me, these patches are too ugly to be left plain as they are. They're offensive to the eyes. Let's paint them red. You have enough of it lying about, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. I agree, and have been painting them red ever since, going over old patches that have faded and searching out new ones to cover in this bright, lovely color. I agreed, but I have lost my fondness for red. Not that I'd stop and change colors. I used to step outside the halls of my temple for a bit of fresh air and excitement not found here. I'd meet new people and travel to places I'd never seen and never known. I'd visit old haunts and find dear companions. Now I long to escape for even a moment. When I stand in the halls of my temple, I am greeted with a sobering sight. Old fissures in a wall and a spider web of hairline fractures running through the floor and even branching off into the pillars and it, in all of its writhing grace, slithering in and about these cracks and fissures as it pleases looking like an oil spill come nightmare that nobody bothered to clean up. I certainly don't have anything to clean it up with. Oil and water don't mix, so I've never even bothered to try. What good would it do me anyway? <laughs>